Hello, so in this screencast, we're going to look at how to manage the layout and event handling of uh, components that are inside the fragment. So we looked at the home fragment is just a simple fragment and we're adding it dynamically like this. And if you look at the layouts, they have two simple, very simple layout. The main activity is empty. Technically, there is nothing inside it. Uh, all what's what we did in the main activity is the um, in the container it has some container view we give it an id we call it con container view right this is a constraint layout we put uh, we just called it container view and in the main activity we use the fragment manager the get support fragment manager begin transaction we added the home fragment there and we commit right so that displays the home fragment when we look at the layout for the home fragment this is the layout for the home fragment it just says hello from the uh, the, the home fragment now uh, one interesting thing is that you would like to change the title of the home fragment so one way to do that is we technically we don't need all these methods we just added them to do the logging i'm going to remove these on create view we need it on view created on resume we don't need so basically this this is the bare minimum methods that we need so i'm going to remove all of that stuff the comments and here we are so now if we run it it still will work here it is here's the app uh, hello from home fragment now let's say <coughs> we want to change the title of the application so one way to change the title is on view created say get activity dot set title and you say for example this is the home fragment and you can also create a string if you need that will you could say set title to let's see set title and you can pass it an ID of the title, so r dot string dot um, hello blank fragment maybe. So then we can go back here to the strings and change the string to say this is call it for example home fragment, and you could say home fragment here. Okay, so here is the home fragment. Go back here, home fragment. We run it again, and you can see that we are able to change the title. There it is, and it says home fragment now, right? You can also specify a string, just a string here. You can type in a string, home fragment, and you run it, and it says home fragment. Okay, cool. So that's how I changed the title of it on view created. So every time the fragment is going to be displayed on the screen, the on create view will be called, and then the on view created. So on create view, it actually creates the view, creating the view inflates the view so basically it goes to the layout uh, and inflates it so basically that this is the layout that it's going to inflate and it inflates it and it gets returned you see here return view and that view is whatever you see on the screen here so now if we go back to the uh, fragment uh, layout so let's minimize this device there it is, so that we could just focus here and here we are so now hello from this so let's remove this constraint here go to the code here give it a little bit of padding say 10 dp and then we'll go back here there it is now what if i have an edit text let's say we add an edit an edit uh, text so let's say it's some plain text here and we have a button right for example and uh, basically uh, we are just going to retrieve some information from them and see how to handle the events here okay so let's see how Alright, so I have a button, I have an edit text, let's give it a little bit of a margin here and a little bit of a margin here. And we click here and here so that it takes the whole screen and similarly one and two. And this button we're going for example the submit button, for example, here it is. And then similarly this name, we're gonna change that a little bit, make this is the hint. So basically let's say for example uh let's say we ask them to enter the username for example right so username and uh, the edit text i'm gonna call it in the text name here it is and then the button i'm going to call it button submit cool so now the text for it we call this submit here it is and now how do i handle so when i run this you see the layout that we just created looks like this here it is here it is hello from the home fragment here is the username now i want to handle these handle events this is in the fragment this layout is in the fragment so if you go to the home fragment where do i handle this so basically i know that i created a 
uh, there is an edit text and there is a submit button right so basically i know that there is an edit text and a submit button so now the submit button i could do this you see here the on view created it returns to you the view that was created so now i could do view dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, submit button dot set on click listener new on click list. so i set up a listener for the submit button similarly there is r dot id dot um, edit text the name right see here so uh, let's say the name we'll do edit text this is the edit text name and i'm going to do the exact same thing again here so i'm going to say uh, edit text name equals view dot there is no find view by id by itself there's no find view by id so you got the view in that view dot find under it any of his children find view by id r dot id dot edit text name so now i have the edit text name and i have the when the user clicks i could retrieve whatever the user enters here and show it in a toast for example so toast get activity whenever you need the context you just type get activity and then what i'm going to show here is let's say string uh, name equals edit text name dot get text dot to string so now this is how you retrieve uh, the value from it and you could see that the code to handle the events in the fragment is written in the fragment it's not written in the activity you see here i wrote this code inside the fragment right you see that it's inside the fragment in on view created right okay now when we run this let's see go here type uh, hello for example hello here it is and i'm going to minimize this now when i click submit notice what's going to happen here it is submit again and it shows nice so you could see that i'm able to interact uh, the all the layout code uh, all the layout event handling and setup and so on is done inside the fragment okay and you can add content and so on you can add whatever components you want to add inside a fragment all right so you have seen now how to set it up on create view it just inflates the layout you know fragment home which is this one it inflated that and it returns it now on view created is after it gets inflated and displayed on the screen on view created now gives you the view that you passed the view that was presented it comes here and then you can use it view dot find view by id button or you can the edit text we stored the edit text here yeah the other thing is can i use binding with fragments definitely you can binding again is your friend you know binding allows you instead of doing it like this in binding we as you know we have to go to the build gradle for the app and then add build uh, features features and then view binding to true okay now this enables binding now when you do that if you go to the home fragment now we sync now instead of me doing find view by id and so on and inflating this way i can do it this way i know that there is this is the fragment this is the layout i would like to, to use so it will be the binding that will be created automatically by the system is fragment um fragment home binding binding see here that that class automatically got created because i activated binding and now here you do binding equals fragment home binding dot inflate and you see here there is inflator view group and boolean so this is the inflator is coming in here you see here the inflator is coming in from here and then the view group is the container and then false all right so that gives you the binding and then what you need to return is a view so this binding actually you can it will take that layout it will inflate it now the binding now has references to all the components that are in that layout that have ids now what do we need to return here is a view so can i binding dot get root get root is the root component of your fragment which is what here you see here this is a tree this is the root and these are its children so it's going to return the top node so that top node will when it's returned is the one that's going to get displayed and its children and so on so now i have the binding now in order to to uh, to do this now i don't need the edit text you'll see i don't need it and i don't need even to store it whenever i need it i just say binding dot 
edit text name see here the binding has access to everything that has an id so you see binding dot uh, edit text name see here edit text name or binding dot um, button submit you know, so basically we're going to do the same thing here binding dot button submit set on click listener right so the binding makes life much easier i don't have to store uh, anything binding takes care of any component that you have in here that has an id uh, uh, you see here the id is button submit edit text name and that's what's used in the binding so the binding inflates it it gets its type you see for example binding dot you see button submit is a button edit text name is an edit text you see so the binding is your friend it takes care of inflating the layout it keeps references to the components in that layout and you don't need to use find view by id uh, at all so basically we don't need this find view by id so here is the button because you have access to the button directly and then you say it set on click listener on that button now when we run this here it is it's going to function the same way you know, so if bindings is not is not something that is special for fragments but you can use it it makes your life easier so for example here hi hello hello okay and minimize this click submit and it says hello so it, it works all right so please let me know if you have any questions